हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द टेक डिजाइन चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स टू डे आई विल टॉक अबाउट जीपीडी जी वन एक्सटर्नल जीपी मॉड्यूल सो फ्रेंड जीपीडी एज अनाउंस brand new g1 egp module alongside winmax 2 handheld which features the amd radeon rx 7600 mxt and friend besides the console being very unique in its laptop s cap shape and design it also comes with a cooling port that can allow user to plug in an egp or use it as external m.2 slot with up to 63 gb per second bandwidth and this allows you to do come with its own egp option known as the g1 and the gpd g1 egp module is hosts the md radeon rx 7600 mxt which is a company state can accept the performance of an nvidia g4 RTX 3070 and the GPU is based on Navi 33 RDNA 3 graphics core and features a total of 32 compute units, 2048 shader units, 32 MB of Infinity Cache, 8 GB DDR6 memory running across a 128 bit wide bus, running across a 128 bit wide bus interface and a maximum clock speed of 2615 megahertz and the TGB can be set between 75 to 120 watt and based on these applications it is likely being compared to an RTX 3070 Max Q with a conservative power limit and the GPD G1 module comes with a single HDMI and dual display port outputs while offering 3 USB 3.2 ports and HD memory card reader and the whole thing measures 225 into 111 into 29.8 mm and weighs around 0.92 kg and it's equipped with its own 240 watt GN power supply and features active cooling and the company provides a range of benchmarks comparing the GPD G1 eGPU with the Nvidia RTX 4070 desktop and RTX 3070 mobile GPUs and the Radeon RX 7600 MXT puts up a really good fight even in wins against them in synthetic benchmarks and the overall performance in gaming at 1440p resolution is also very good as seen before And when if I talk about the pricing, the pricing of the GPD G1 eGPU on the other hand is big question as the difference is around 650 US dollar for crown funders and 810 US dollar for the standard buyers. So friend, if you like my video, please do like, share, and comment, and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.